All right, all right, LDMMAC, it is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, you're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. <laughs> God, dog. God, dog. You know, where can you make this? Where, where, uh, this is only in MMA land. Only in MMA land where this stuff really comes to life. So, Chael P. Sonnen, this, you know, slick top wannabe gangster that you see on the screen. Okay, and we know Chell definitely ain't about that life. But this wannabe gangster that you see on the screen. Okay, now he blatantly, he just came out and he said, hey, I was not the worst drug cheater this era. I was the best drug cheater this era. And Chell P. Sonnen blatantly comes out, and you know, and I can respect the fact that he's blatantly honest. I can respect that. You know, but, you know, now what I need are the cyborg haters. Because I'm a cyborg defender, but I need the cyborg haters to come on out. And some of you same guys in the comment section of this particular video, some of you same guys. I saw some of you in cyborg videos saying that, you know what, she's a drug cheat. She's Wanda Lay Silver. She's this. What are you guys going to say about this? What do you, what, what, what do you, you know, all you guys that, you know, you want to be righteous and all you guys that are so fair and balanced. But, you know, I noticed that. Why aren't we giving Chael Sonnen work? Why? I mean, clearly this man don't have no respect for the sport. Clearly this man don't have any respect for the sport of martial arts. Clearly he don't have it. Because if Chael Sonnen did, well, he probably wouldn't be saying this. And it's almost like he got no remorse. Now, you got Chris Cyborg. Who for years, still trying to defend herself from something she did damn near 10 years ago. Still trying to defend it to this day. To this day. She's still trying to defend it. She's still, you know, telling people she didn't mean to do it. She's still answering questions to this day. And it's like, I get sick and tired of Chris answering those questions. I, sometimes I wish Chris would just be like, F all of y'all. Don't ask me no more questions about steroid use when you got Chael signing out here. When you got John Jones out here, and that's the subject for a whole nother video that I do. I, my Patreon is, is almost up and running. Okay? I, I mean, you got, you got TJ Dillashaw. You got all these drug cheats running around here. You had Brock Lesnar. But it's just funny, man, how people as a whole, like as a massive whole, don't want to call these people out. Don't want to say anything. You had people in the comment section big up in Chael Sonnen. Well, yeah, at least, at least, at least he was honest. I mean, good grief, dude. Well, Chris was honest. But we understand now. We guys, y'all know we know what it is. Okay? You know we know what it is. <laughs> you know that I know that we know what it is. The majority of y'all know what it is. But, of course, if I come over here and if I tell you that, the complexion for the protection, you know, if I say that, see, you guys are going to immediately try to deflect and y'all going to bring up something else that ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Because that's what y'all do. That's what y'all do. Why nobody calling this guy out? I know, I know. You're going to give me about five other, you know, other people. You'll probably give me five different black guys or five more Brazilians that, that's doping too, right? This guy's coming out saying, hey, 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 listen, I, I was a good drug chief. <laughs> you know, all jokes aside, when you, you know, you, your body's already a dangerous weapon. Now, when you're on PEDs, and if your skill set is good enough, see, PEDs alone don't make you a good fighter. PEDs plus skill set makes you a killer. I mean, ask Jessica Panay. Jessica Panay was on that juice, and, you know, Jessica Panay got her ass whooped. <laughs> and that's another one people don't want to talk about. Oh, they don't want to talk about her. But, you know, now the excuse that they'll give me is, uh, well, Chris is very popular. And so people, you know, know Chris Cyborg. Well, he'll chill popular. Matter of fact, Chell Sonnen probably more popular than Chris Cyborg on social media. I think. I know on YouTube he is. I know on YouTube he's got a bigger audience than Chris on YouTube. Maybe not on Twitter and Instagram. But uh, their popularity is pretty comparable. How are you going to explain this? Wow. And then, you know, hell, Gabby Garcia, people make fun of her. You can say the eye test of Gabby Garcia. You can say that all day. But until she's gotten popped, you can say, well, I believe because I got all this background knowledge. That's fine. You can have all the background knowledge you want to have. But until she pops, okay, it is what it is. But we know that this dude in the picture, we know he popping. 
we know he popped. And he done popped many times, and this guy don't care. <laughs> Chell's signing out the game. Chell, I wouldn't be surprised if he popped for this fight. He don't care. He point blank said, I, I needed an edge. I needed an edge. <laughs> and, you, and you can respect him a little bit for saying that, but, you know, he still cheated. He still cheated, and he put his opponent, uh, his opponent, because when they get into the octagon, they're already in imminent danger. Okay? You're in imminent danger. Just what it is. You could die, but now you put somebody in there using PEDs, they turn into a killing machine. They turn into a freaking killing machine. And it can be a wrap. I don't really have a lot of remorse or respect for this guy because, you know, it's either you love him or hate him. He says some stupid stuff. Every now and then he'll say something that makes sense. But this dude is a damn idiot, okay? It's an idiot. But I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for people to make a mass exodus to this channel or I'm sorry, not an exodus, but a mass interest to this channel to tell me how much they sick of Chael Son and cheating. How much? They was quick to call out John Jones though. Hell, they call, hey, we call out John Jones every time, but we need to call this dude out. This dude been popping just as much as John Jones. This dude been a cheat most of his damn career. Look at him. And he got that smug look. You, you know, he even got a stupid look on his face in this picture right here. Got the smug ass look. Like, yeah, well, you know, I do what I want to do. And Chad basically got little slaps on the wrist, you know. Or he'd laugh it off. Because it was a big joke to him. Where that same energy at for this guy? I mean, where is it? I don't think people got that energy. Because people love the American gangster. They love him. They love this hero. They love this guy. Man. I mean, this guy can do no wrong. This guy talked the most junk. This guy done got beat up a whole bunch of times. What, he 30 and 17? That's a lot of ass whoopings that somebody done put on you. But, yeah, he still loved. The man can cheat. He still loved. This man can probably murder somebody. Legit, he can go murder him. Well, you know, Chell was provoked. That's probably what they say. Chell was provoked. Yeah, he was very provoked. <laughs> Wow. I'll be waiting on these comments. I'll be waiting on whoever wants to, you know, give it to Chell. But I'm looking for some of you people that was in the cyborg video. That was in the cyborg video who was uh she was explaining, you know, herself about, you know, why Dana White did what she did what he did, and also Scott Coker wanting to sign uh, uh sign Chris Cyborg. You guys in that video, oh man, y'all was all over the place. Nobody wants to listen to this drug cheat. Nobody wants to listen to her. But y'all are listening to this drug cheat. Huh. Why y'all think, why y'all think they're not giving Chell any, any, why, why y'all think they're not on him? Can anybody, leave it in the comment section for me. Why do y'all think that nobody is calling this guy out? I mean, I will. I called him out multiple times. But why isn't anybody, the fair and balanced, all these people that they're so fair, they're so uh, impartial, they, 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 they just want to be here for fight. Why won't these people call out one Chell P. Sonnen? I'm done. 